Hi, I'm Henry from Wild Birds Unlimited in Danvers, Massachusetts, and today we we're going to talk to you about the placement of bird houses. So, um, first of all, you want to avoid an area where you're feeding the birds, which may sound a little counterintuitive, but you just don't want all that activity. The birds want to nest in a quiet neighborhood. So if I did want to put a house near feeders, I'd get at least 20 feet away from it if I could. Um, and that's not to say that they won't nest close to a feeder, but you're much better off away from a feeder. And then really the placement of the house has a lot to do with who goes in it as opposed to um, the look of the house. So the size of the opening is going to determine who goes in there, um, but this house is inch and a half, which would allow wrens, chickadees, nuthatch, titmouse, bluebirds, and tree swallows. If you put this particular house out in the open, in a field, on a pole, away from shrubs and trees, you're more likely to get a bluebird and a tree swallow. And if you did get a bluebird in this house and then a tree swallow showed up, he would probably harass the bluebird and they would start to fight over it. So if you did find that happening, you would put another house just like it, about five, 10 feet apart, and the bluebird is very happy to have a tree swallow as a neighbor, but he won't allow another bluebird to nest right next door. So you'd get a greater diversity of birds by pairing up the houses. Every 300 feet, you'd have a pair of houses. Um, so this same house, if we didn't put it in the field and we put it in the woods, um, you're more likely to get a wren, a chickadee, or a nuthatch. So even though the house is considered a bluebird house, it depends on where you put it. This house here is meant for hanging, and you can see that there are two eyelets on it as opposed to a single eyelet. So this would probably be hung in a tree, and if it had a single eyelet, the wind could spin it around and have it on thread. So your best bet is to have two eyelets, if possible. Um, this same house, if you put it on a porch, wrens, for some reason, really like to nest near homes. So if you put this house on a porch, you're very likely to get a wren in it. Um, the other thing that people often ask is how high up should a house be? Generally speaking, I would lean towards five, six feet off the ground because you're going to be more likely to maintain the house. A uh, owl house is going to require about 15 to 20 feet in the air, so that's the exception. But most birds will nest um, five, six feet off the ground. So uh, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, please just give us a call at the store. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon.